Hey everyone, Rick from Rick's RC and more. I, uh, this is going to be kind of another Millwright Apprentice video. Uh, as you can see in front of me here, there's, I got lots of books. Uh, I actually just finished my, uh, my, my third year of school, my final year. So I got my hours in. I just need to, uh, get my paperwork pushed through and, and do my, uh, my qualifications exam. I'll be licensed. I just kind of given a little heads up. This is um, this is three years of schooling, uh, kind of sitting in front of me here. Uh, you know, some of the books I had to purchase. Uh, that's going to vary on uh, on what school you go to. Uh, there's different uh, there's different um, prints of these books. So these are just some of the. Uh, this this is a millwright uh, manual now the uh, the school I went to you didn't actually have to purchase this it basically just comes wrapped and you need to buy a binder for it I uh, I bought that because the um, one of the teachers says it is handy to have so uh, that's something you can use throughout your career as for the other two books those were for uh, those were class specific uh i have all yeah, i have all these binders in front of me these are all handouts uh smaller booklets uh and i've, I've kind of mixed stuff up just to give everybody kind of a rough idea what you're going to need uh for binders when you do start school i uh i just instead of throwing all this stuff together i kind of just kept buying some more binders because I wanted to keep everything somewhat subject oriented uh, for studying purposes for for the qualifications. Uh, third level, I didn't do a, a video on this. This was the uh, the school I went to. This was your third level uh, shop project. It's a uh, it's a clamp dial indicator clamp that you make, and your know, your dial indicator would clamp onto this guy. It's uh, it's threaded so you could put it on either side of the clamp or even up top here. You gotta make these, you gotta make that little hook and basically wrap this around your couplers or stuff for alignment. You can just feed the chain through there and and then when it's snug and then just tighten this up and it clamps and then you just mount this guy wherever it needs to be. The uh, the chain is is provided uh, obviously, but uh, yeah, these uh, these little hooks these are these are very interesting to machine. <laughs> and of course, you've got your your knurled grips on there and your holes you got to drill, tap, etc. Anyway, uh, just a quick little video here just to kind of kind of give everybody a heads up if you're uh, if you're wanting to go through to be a millwright and. Uh, Depending on where you are, uh, I'm in uh, I'm in Ontario, Canada. It's going to differ um, for everybody. Uh, as far as um, schooling goes, I went to school with some with some lads at uh, their first level. They went to a different school than the one I went to, and they said it was quite different uh, atmosphere. And so it's uh, like I said that's all going to be dependent on uh, where you go. So yeah, just a quick little video. Um, your your third level, uh, the school I went to, you got into pneumatics, hydraulics, and uh, you know a lot more uh, theory, a lot of math, a lot of formulas. Um, you know, on like simple simple machines, levers, stuff like that as well. So uh, it's been a it's been a good experience so far. Um, I did well in school. I'm I'm hoping that. Uh, I can do my uh, qualifications and and pass it first first round through and uh, be licensed and uh, further my career. Well, everybody, get out, enjoy your RCs if you're into that. Uh, if you're watching this just for the millwright video uh, purposes, then uh, and you're you're going through to be a millwright. Uh, good luck on your endeavors.